Hey, how y'all doing, man? Back with another video about the uh, the Sabaton controller. Um, there ain't really too many videos on YouTube that actually talk about these controllers, so I picked the um, pick some up for me and my kids. And this one right here is the Sabaton, the SVMC seventy two one fifty controller, and I just got this one in the day for my bike. But this one's gonna go on my son's bike. Man, let me show you this one. Okay, so this the one that I picked up right here, and this one right here is the uh, the S SBM C two two hundred, I think. So we're gonna see what's inside. I ordered the kit for um for my my e bike, which is is right there hanging up. Um, it's been it, I took it apart because of the battery I need the um, the battery it's gonna be a 72 volt 40 amp hour battery is gonna go on that bike in a triangle so we're gonna um, probably not put the controller on the top frame um, or on the bottom I don't know but yeah let's get back to these controllers so 150 here a controller and on this one has 200 a control so let's take them apart and see the size difference on these these two controllers so here we are we got the the 150 controller which is right here um i kind of opened it up and took some of the parts out so let me grab this one i'm gonna put this one get this box out and this right here is the 150 controller looks pretty dang nice I ain't, I ain't gonna lie all right let's see what this one has <clears throat> oh i'm in the bed right now doing this in my room so so here is the 200 a controller and this is it right here i had ordered me some grips i ordered me a twist throttle for my son so it's gonna go on his bike and over here is uh, hall sensor because he's gonna be running a 3000 watt um, 3000 watt um, motor hub motor in the rear so that's for him and then they got the alarm lock and also have uh, the um, PC connection but um, I do need that but I don't need that because <sighs> Because I think in this drawer, I got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of e-bike stuff in here. <sighs> this out right here. Ah, right, here we are. We also have a Bluetooth adapter. So we have that going in now. And uh, we gotta build a mom's one too. So that's why I got some of this stuff squared away. And here's the controller. We're gonna get that out real quick. So, oh, and this right here is the, um, I think it's a CK, the CKU1 display, which I have on all three, three of my bikes right quick. So, yeah, so we have the CKU1 display. I really like these. I was, th I was thinking about going with the 750 display, but um these spin pretty reliable so we're gonna set that to the side right there and here is the controller let's take that on out Ugh. let's move this box out the way now look at this this is this is the 200 controller right here okay look on the back and it is Salvatore 200A controller. Let's put that right there. And this one, as you can see, this is the 150A controller. Look at the size difference. Look at that. That's at least, at least an inch more. Yeah, than the two. Uh, than the 150 so they like I say they both have the displays um, and uh, all of them has regen so 
I mean, that's the front. I mean, they both. I mean, they both. I mean, they all look identical. I mean, far as well, this one has a different color. This I like the color on this one better than this one though. But but um, they they look identical, as far as you know appearance goes. But this the two hundred is a little bit longer. Um, so anyways, um, the people that I got this from is called ND e-bike factory store in China and they are really really good people man I if y'all want to know about them I will gladly send y'all some links man cuz y'all need anything they will hook y'all up man for real for real cuz and they're they're pretty cheap and they pretty fast with shipping I mean like I um I got this in the in a week I think it took a week for this to come uh, this one the same it didn't take this one they had in uh, in in U, in the U.S. So this one took a little bit shorter. I think it took like five days for this to come, but they had to get this from China because they didn't have this in stock here in, in you know in the United States. So so this one came from China, and and these are these are original Sabaton controllers. This ain't no runs in motor or any any knockoffs or something like that. So this controller is gonna go on the bike. Let me show you. So this one's gonna go on. This is a QS. Um, it's a 305. No, yeah, yeah. QS. It's a QS motor. I think it's a 305 or something like that. Oh, anyways, it's a 3.5 turn motor. Uh, I'm changing out the hydraulic brakes. Um, I think I'm, I'm gonna transfer those to my son's bike. And and if you look on the back, that's a 3,000 watt motor ready to go. And and like I say, they both have, all of them are going to have the uh, CKU1 displays. Um, this is my youngest son bike. I got this one ready to go. We're just waiting on the batteries. Um, on this one, it's going to be, you know, number plate covering it up and everything. This is also an ADM controller from the same people. And that thing, this thing is put out some lot of power. And it has a thousand watt hub motor. It has the hydraulic disc brakes, which I built myself. And um, it's it's real nice. I did it did have a twist shifter right here, so I put this type of shifter because he he had um, trouble using the twist throttle, and this works a lot better for him. But I'm gonna bring it to the side of this bike and show you what I did so far. So back to the wheel. This is the rear. This is a one thousand watt hub motor. I got the zoom. S Tech uh, hydraulic disc brakes. I had made my custom, um, um, what's it call it? The torque arms. I had welded that, and um, so I had um, cut it a little bit, welded it on everything, and then also I had um, this hill bracket I brought from Amazon, and it's like a one of those uh, V brakes to. Uh, disc brakes conversion and you can get that from Amazon for like $14 and I just cut it to the right size and I just welded it welded it right there painted over there and it looks pretty neat and but the disc brakes didn't want to fit because it was hitting the frame so I had to kind of scoot this out and welded that in and so I got plenty of clearance and um, other than that I made some brackets for this control to be bolted up to and um so the, the control is, is bolted nice and tight i just gotta i just don't know if i want to put the battery on the top or at the bottom because if i do it at the bottom right here then i can um uh, what i'll do i'll just reroute the uh the shifter cable i'll just get a a, a new cable instead of it being instead of it being down here at the bottom right here now I just get a cable and route it down like that and then I can put the barrier down here on the frame. But anyways, anyways, back to these controllers right here. Like I say, these these some good controllers. I mean I mean you're not gonna go wrong with either of these controllers. I think this is a little bit overkill, to tell you the truth, because the 150 personally is plenty. I think the 80s is really plenty. Like that controller for a 3000 watt motor right now. I think the edit, that controller is just plenty for what you need. And with that controller, 
with the 52 volt battery I was running, I got up to about 47, 47 miles an hour. And then with this controller, I got straight 50. This controller can go straight 50. But you need the battery, you need the battery compatible. So you just can't put any 52 volt battery on either of these controllers, especially if they if they not rated the amperage not right, because you're gonna damage that battery so fast. And that's what I did to to that one. I just had a 52 volt. I think it was a 20 amp hour battery, but the the maximum discharge amperage was about 40. It but this controller did real good. Don't get me wrong. I ain't had no problems with this controller. But man, when I hooked this controller up to it. It completely destroyed that battery. It just it drained it. Some of the batteries just lost its capacity altogether, and it, it was a nightmare from there. And and because I bypassed the BMS on it, which I'm not gonna do with this one because this one got gonna have a 72 volt 40 amp hour battery. This bike's gonna have a 48 volt 20 amp hour battery, and then my son's bike's gonna have the e bike right here is gonna have a 48 volt. 30 amp hour battery and they in the in each, these two batteries it's going to be well over 100 amps so i think mine's going to pull 180 this one's going to pull 120 the batteries and the battery for this one's going to pull 60 and that's plenty for this one so and uh i might just i might i don't know i might um see see what um I might can just tone it down maybe on um, the phase imps. I mean, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Um, I'm not bypassing no BMS for sure, for sure. But yeah, man, these these controllers, man, they you know, if you want if you want power though, and if you get the right battery, these controls can can make make a difference. You know, that one, these two, and that one right there. This controller. This controller here is for like moms right here when she just want to you know it's a 40 volt 1000 watt you know when you want to cruise around the beach this one probably be do about 30 30 miles an hour but look I mean just I mean it fits it fits inside the 150 no problem I mean let alone the 200 you know but this is gonna go on another electric bike I'm gonna do. Um, so I'll be doing that soon. But right now, I'm waiting on the batteries come from these two controllers and for that e-bike right there. And then hopefully I have a GoPro and we'll do some riding around the park out, out road cause mainly these bikes are gonna be off road. Um, and I think we'll probably, what? I mean the max, we'll probably do about 20, at least 20 miles an hour. Cause I mean the whole family's gonna be riding with us. So, you know, we're not we don't we don't maybe by himself i'll probably max it out maybe 50 50 or 60 with me on there but when i'm with my kids man i just you know i just take it easy you know and i don't want them to get hurt they got helmets uh they both ride, ride motocross you know he got a ktm 50 and my son got a uh, yz125 so and me i'm just I don't I just got a brute force <laughs> so anyway this is about this is all about the cyber tone control but if you need uh, any more information about the people that sell sold me these controllers and everything else to your bikes hit me up um, I'll be glad to point you in the right direction about these I don't I ain't had no problem with these controllers there I mean they're really good controllers I mean so all right y'all peace